Lady Buns, it is Jen, and I want to come in and talk to you guys about how to set up a consult session. The proper way to set up your consult session for your business. First of all, welcome to Pretty Chicks and Invest. My name is Jen. I am your exclusive startup business coach. Yes, I help women turn their skills into what? Dollar bills, okay? You have a skill that you can give to the world, and you can charge for that skill. All right. So, say you happen to have a business that can offer a consult, right? You're like, okay, I'm going to add that to my business. I'm going to add consultation to my business. What do I do? You need one, a process, two, a system. Your system is going to be your systems that you are going to use in order to get that person to be able to um, be able to have the consult with you. So, first things first, for me. A part of my systems is I use a couple of things, and that is why I am your startup setup coach because a lot of times we know what we can console with the person, but how do we set this thing up to get these people in our in our atmosphere? Okay, so I'm gonna break down my consult for this channel. Like, if you want to consult with me, you can go in the description below and you can click the link, and we're gonna start. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing it. So, first things first. What is the first system I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to have a place that's going to take my payment and process my process the payment so that the person can, can pay for your consult. You are setting up a consult. So what I use is PayHip. You guys, there are many places that you can use, not just PayHip. I like PayHip because it's very simple as well as Gumroad because it's simple. They pay, they get their instant um, download as well as the monies come to you um, easily. Especially, I like pay, um, pay hip. I like Gumroad too. So that's going to be your, the first step for your system is who's going to be your payment portal? Who's going to host your stuff? Now, granted, you can have a website that does this for you, but I'm thinking if you're a beginner and you're starting, you probably don't have a, you probably have a website, but you may not have a website that accepts payments and, and it'll do all this stuff. So I'm showing you the down and dirty way if you, you know, you're just starting. So you're going to have, your first step is pay hip. Pay hip is where you're going to take your stuff. So now you need to take time to set up your pay hip, meaning you need to come up with a photo with a description of your consult. And what are people going to get when they consult with you? Okay, you figure out what your price is going to be. Boom, you set it up. That's number one. Now, in order for the people to get to you, your second part of your system is going to be you utilizing Google Drive. Now, again, you can use Dropbox. There's a bunch of things you can use, but you want to go ahead and use, I'm saying Google Drive because you want to be able to present links to people. So say, for example, this is what we're going to do. You're going to go to a Google Doc. I'm not a Google Doc. Sorry, a Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's put that in there. Microsoft Word, because I know for me, I like to see it out clearly. So you go to a Microsoft Word document. On there, you're going to put, I'm literally showing you guys what I put. Thank you for your payment of the consult for whatever it is you do. Step one, they're going to go, go to Google Drive and they're going to complete your intake form. Okay, so you need Google Drive and you need Google Forms. So we already have four other systems that we're going to use in our own system. So we have PayHip, Microsoft Word, Google Drive, and Google Docs. Well, Google Forms, not Docs. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Google Forms and Google Drive. Okay. Now, the reason why you want to get Google Forms is because Google Forms allows you to create a survey. And here's the thing. Never go into a console with anybody without knowing the information that they're going to want from you and not knowing information about them. Okay. Whatever it is, you, whatever the console. Say if you're a baker, right? And you're going to do a console, right? You want to know, what is this for? Is this for a wedding? Is this for a birthday? Is this for an anniversary? When do they need it? By what time? Do they just have a specific question? Like you need to, you want to make sure you do your Google Forms, create that survey so that you can tell the person who just purchased your, purchased your console that step number one is they have to complete the form, which is the Google um, Forms survey. Because you need to know information about them before you sit down for a consult, before you video chat, before you call them on the phone. You need to know what you're getting into, okay? They obviously are coming to you for some reason, but you need to know what's the reason, okay? So, that you go to the Google Forms. Then you're going to get the next system within your system is Calendly. Calendly is awesome. It's dope. 
Now, it takes a little while to set it up. Again, I'm set up queen, okay? Set up queen. I set up your business for success. You need to set things up so that people, like, uh, you don't understand, you guys. There's been so many times I've let so many customers, I, now I'm taking responsibility. I've let so many customers walk away because my setup was sloppy. So now I like to have my setup on fleek, okay, on point. And again, there are going to be errors there, but the thing that I like about my errors, I like to fix my errors quick. If people text me or email me or post a comment like, hey, this not working, I'm, I'm on it. Like, okay, okay, hold on, let me delete that and upload this and, and link this because I want people to have a pleasant experience when they come to me. Because when people have a pleasant experience working with you once, they're more than likely to come back again. And that's what we all want is repeat customers. So, um, so the next thing is Calendly. Now, I love Calendly because Calendly sends you an email when somebody sets up a console with you, which is awesome because you've already set up, they've already paid you, and they've already done their form. So now, when they set up your console on Calendly, which you block out days and times you actually can console with people. Like, say, for example, today, I'm talking to you guys. I'm going to go live with my YouTube, you, not YouTube, I'm going live with my Facebook group in five minutes, and then in two hours from then, I have a console, and two hours after that, I have another console. So I'm saying that to say to you guys, you definitely want to make sure you're blocking out times that you actually, you actually can go ahead and provide that service and, and that console with that person, okay? So you put the, you, so you create the Google form, asking the questions, then you uh, set up your availability on Calendly, okay? So you put, you create that. Now you're going to take all those links and you're going to put it in a Microsoft Word document and change it into a PDF because PDF always looks more sleeker. But you're going to, one, thank them for purchasing the console. Two, you're going to tell them to complete the Google form. And then number two, you're going to tell them to schedule a console. And again, that console should be around the time you're available. That's why you go to Calendly and you set it up. So you create that document, you save that document. Now you're going to go back to Payhip. You're going to upload it, okay? You upload it, and then once you upload it, you literally now have created the process and the system, okay? The system was what we just talked about. Now I'm going to tell you what the system is, um, the process we just talked about. I mean, the system is what we just talked about. Now we're going to talk about the process, okay? So boom, you save that, you upload it, bam, your pay hip is, is, is available. You put it on your site. Now from your customer's side, what they see is, one, they go into pay hip, they pay. Two, they get that instant download document that's going to thank them, that's going to instruct them to go to their, um, to do the Google intake form, and then they're going to schedule their consult. Bam, that's the process for your client. On your end, what you're going to get is you're going to get it. A notification that they paid from pay hip, number one. Number two is you're going to not get a notification unless you set it up with Google Forms, but that's something totally different. You're going to go after they do their, um, after they do their Google Forms, you're supposed to get an alert from Google Forms saying that somebody completed a survey. If you don't see it, you need to go in there and check it. Okay. If somebody's paid you, it is not your responsibility to go into the Google Forms and check what they actually have paid for, okay? And your Google Forms means you go and you check what they're going to want to talk to you about, what are they going to want to consult with you on. Then, on your end, after that, you should also see another email come through, maybe in a day or a day or two, depending on how fast they're going to work, um, is you're going to get an email from Calendly that tells you, hey, you got a scheduled consult with this person on this day and on this time. Boom. Mind blown. Now you set up your, your schedule. If you want to, you can text them um, and make sure when you're doing your consult, you would, I'm not consult, when you set up your calendar, you explain to them, well, actually in your Google Forms, what you want to do is you want to add a section whether they want to talk to you on the phone, they want to video chat with you, or do they want to do like an email consult. Only because you need that information so when they do set it up on your calendar, you want to make sure that you're providing it the way they ask for it. Or you can just make that decision on your own. Are you going to do... Hold on, you guys. 